show off the Mars rovers that they've designed. As news specialist Mike Anderson reports, it's part of a unique challenge designed to help train the aerospace engineers of the future. It's gonna be a toughie. On Mars. Oh boy. Everyone can hear your frustration. Let's go, man. Come on. Nick Wirtz with the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor. Uh, a little nerve wracking. Is getting a good taste of what it's like to put a full year of his team's hard work to the test. Usually anywhere between 15 to 25 hours a week. Uh, so it's a pretty sizable commitment outside of schoolwork. And getting their Mars rover through most of this obstacle course feels like a pretty good win. <gasps> They're just one of many teams from around the world who are eager to come here and compete in the Martian terrain. Ah, uh, yes, this is certainly the most inhospitable place on Earth I've ever been. Granted, this is just the Mars Desert Research Station, a remote part of Wayne County that to some looks like the red planet. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Look at it. It's kind of red. The competition here, run by the Mars Society, a group dedicated to pushing research forward for a future mission to our nearest neighbor in space. It's a great opportunity for us. Uh, to build our own rover and come test it from here. It's enough of a big deal to bring this team here from Egypt. Working under CES makes you much better. It builds your personality. Of course, the hope is that as many of these students go into the real world, their knowledge can help the future of the space industry. Really hone a lot of engineering schools and interdisciplinary um, fields like engineering, computer science, geology. Uh, normally you want to do um, get a chance to do all that. And the annual competition keeps on growing with a record 30 teams this year. Most of them don't make it all the way through the test courses. Hey! All right. But many of them see that as just one more learning opportunity. A pretty good feeling to see a successful rundown. Yes, boys, yes. In Wayne County, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.